How can I is an option for you to move forward. I can't is an option only for you to turn around and go the other direction. So... Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another episode of Cosmo Unfilter, starring my man Wes. How are you, Wes? I'm great. I think you should add me to the title. Wes and Cosmo Unfiltered? Yeah. But what happens if you quit? Well, I'd have to go with the title, I guess. What happens if I quit? Then it'd just be oh, Wes man. Unfiltered. It'd just be unfiltered. <laughs> just Wes Unfiltered. Just, it's empty over there and I talk to myself. <laughs> Well, hey, man, I want to thank everybody who's joining us, whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace. Apple, MySpace, Zanga. <clears throat> if you're watching us, listening to us, thank you for watching. And as always, we do these for zero cost to you. No ads, no none of that. So we ask you one thing. If you like what we're doing, please share this with a friend. And make sure to tag us on social media at Cosmo Unfiltered and uh, leave us a comment down below. Today's episode is stop using the word I can't or the phrase I can't. It just drives me nuts. My grandma used to say, can't never could do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, and I got to uh, be honest with you. I have, I think we all have. I thought you were going to say I can't. And I was about to be like, oh, hey, uh, oh got you. Hypocrite. No, I, I, you know, I, I used to say I can't. And um, the one thing I started realizing is when you say I can't, here's what you're really saying. I'm too freaking lazy to try. That's what you're really saying. I already give myself a reason to say no. I quit. I don't want to do it. I, whatever the reason. I'm not good enough or, you know, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I've been guilty of it. I think we all have been guilty of it. But I think, in a way, it's just a way to keep you from stretching yourself. It's something that keeps you on comfort. I always like like comfort base, you yeah. know. Like it, it, and people don't want to come off comfort because when you come off a of comfort, it's discomfort. So they take the easy way out. Yeah. And I can't. I, 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 I'm tell you. I, you said I can't. If you say that around me here at work. I'm coming unglued. Yeah. Like, the, I'm coming unglued. I'm an, that's when you call HR. Call HR. Call HR, because I cannot do it. They work remote. It does not matter. It's such a bullshit cop-out for doing something. Now, here's what I do now. Instead of saying, I can't, I say, how can? I can't afford that car. How can I afford that car? No, I can't do that. No, y yes, you can. How can you? Ask the question, how? Yeah. Because if you ask the question, how, then all you need to know is just put one freaking foot right in front of the other and just move. Just go forward. Sure. I've been listening to a book. I just finished it. It's called uh, Dopamine Nation. Oh. And uh, the lady in the book, she's a uh, she's been a psychotherapist for years. And she had her own addiction, and she walks through that, and she tells mm -hmm. stories, you know, anonymously of like patients she's had and their addictions and she kind of brings up something cool she talks about how we have this brain in our head that is developed over millions of years and it it doesn't fit in the world we live in anymore because you, your body like i'm yeah. hungry you gotta run and go get whatever it is you need there's a limited food supply that's been the case for like thousands and thousands of years mm -hmm. And industrialization and blah, 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 like dopamine is everywhere. So where we used to have to work to get what we needed and complete the reward pathway and get uh, that dopamine yep, release. Yep. Now you sit on, on your ass at your house and you just like OD on dopamine on your phone. But she talks about how our bodies try to reach like homeostasis, which is like normal, you know, yeah. nominal, like equal parts of everything. Like the body does that on its own. Yeah. And she talks about pain in particular how they've done studies like in the wake of all this opioid stuff where people that were prescribed synthetic opioids, their body sees that and is like, oh, okay, we have a lot of opioids in our body right now. We need to make more pain receptors to do mm. something with these opioids. Wow. So they did like double blind studies where they gave people placebo 
and they gave people opioids. Honestly, you could probably know if you were or weren't on it. Right, right. But people that were dealing with chronic pain who could no longer be prescribed stronger opioids, when they weaned off, they had significantly less pain because their body quit producing <laughs> more pain receptors. Wow. For, I know it's not my podcast, but no, I read no, that no, book. No, it's, it, yeah. But it's so, it's different. It's like, man, we are, we've created well, these worlds where there is no pain and we can say, I can't. And, and it's we're like, wired to protect ourselves. Yeah. Our brain will try to protect us. And by protecting us, if it means just sitting on the couch, playing video games and not going to work, it, you know, that goes back to the dopamine. That's going to give you a shot of dopamine. But I, I just, man, I, I just hate seeing or listening. I won't even like, you know, when I say get these people away from, I won't even like, if you're sure. one of those, I can't guys or yeah, but guys, I don't even want you around me. Get away from me. Yep. And I, and, you know, and I will, if, if you're in my circle, I'll remove you. Or if, you know, I'll, I'll get away from you one way or the other. Sure. So you carry that. I can't in your back pocket till you need you it. You rip that shit out on me, <laughs> man. And I'm going to freaking scissor kick you. I'm scissor kick you. In the I can't liver. stand it, man. I just, and I get it. I did it. I did it. We all do it. Yeah. I mean, let's just be honest because we've been trained that way. And you know, the sad thing is, is if I would have believed all the shit people said about me behind my back and to my face, you know, if I would have believed all that, I would probably still be one of those. I can't guys. Yeah. I can't, you can't start a company. You can't do this. You can't do that. All those people ripping you down off the ladder. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, I'm so glad that I got that instilled in me a long time ago. Rather than say, I can't use, how can I? Just replace it. How can I? How can I is an option for you to move forward. I can't is an option only for you to turn around and go the other direction. So. Choice is yours. I'm fired up. You're sweating. No, you're not. I'm almost sweating. We'll get somebody here to. My heart. I can feel my heart. I just, I, I, like, I. Leave me a comment down below. Commit right now. Leave a comment down below. That you're going to stop using the phrase, I can't, and start using the phrase, how can I? Leave us a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you very much, Wes. I appreciate you. Oh, man. Um, Glad to be here. Like I said earlier, uh, if you don't mind sharing us on social media, go share it. We do this for free. doesn't cost you anything. No ads. No, uh, <laughs> what do they do? I don't even know what they do on these. Man, they're just, they're coming for they you. Just, they got sponsors. They just put the ad in Today the sponsor. Is yeah. sponsored by. This show is brought to you by Cosmos Q. <laughs> Cosmos Q. <laughs> we try to make it not sound like you. <laughs> I'm not Cosmo. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.